Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're creating this sort of knockout text effect which can also be used on shapes in Adobe Illustrator. We'll start with a new file. It doesn't matter how big your file is, mine will simply be a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. I'm going to draw out my starting shape for this one. I'm going to use an ellipse. It could be any shape that you like. I'm going to give it a fill and I'm going to remove the stroke from it. For this I'm just going to select a fill color from my swatches palette. Then I'm going to create my text object. So I'm clicking on the text icon. I'm going to click away from it here just for a minute. And I'm going to type in one of the numbers that I'm going to use. Typing the number two, I'm going to choose a blockier font. So for me, that's going to be the font called Anton. And I'm going to make the size for this one 300 points. So I now have my text object and my shape. I'm going to place my text object over my shape and then I'm going to select both of these objects. Now in the Pathfinder palette over here, I'm going to display it. If you don't see yours, go to Window and then Pathfinder. And this is the option we want, which is Exclude. But you'll notice that when you hover over that icon, it says Exclude Alt Click to create a compound shape. So what we're going to do is just that, hold down the Alt key, that's option on a Mac, and click the Exclude option. And what that does is it turns both of our elements into the color of the front object, but you can see that where these two objects overlap, the color is being inverted. So with it all selected, let's have a look and see what's happening in the Layers palette. In the Layers palette, we've actually got our two objects. So we've got a compound shape, but it's made up of two objects. It's made up of this outside ellipse and our number. Now all of this is fully editable, so this number is still a number. If I select over it, I can change it to a different number and the effect is staying stable. Now this ellipse is also editable and you'll probably want to come into the layers palette to make these changes simply because it's easier to select the bit you want and to avoid selecting the bit that you don't want. So I'm just going to hold the shift and the alt key as I just scale this again, move it into position where I want it to be and just click away. Now it's also possible to change the color here. So I'm going to select the object and I have the fill selected over here so I can go back to my original color. Next up, let's have a look at the shapes option for it. So I'm going to just create a circle shape. I'm going to hold the Alt key again and with the selection tool, I'm going to drag away a duplicate and then the Alt key and drag away a third copy. Now this is three circles in here, three individual circles. Again, I'm going to select over just these circles and I'm going to go back to my Pathfinder options, Alt or Option, click on Exclude. And the overlapping areas here are inverted. And of course, this again is fully editable. Let's have a look at our Layers palette. In the compound shape here, we've got these three ellipses. We can select any one of them and move it or reshape it, do whatever we want to do with it. So this is a really cool effect and obviously the fact that it is fully editable is advantageous because it's as easy as just dragging a copy away. Let's see which one we're working on here. Okay, so let's go and select the number three here with the type tool. We can come in here and just change the number and we've got an entirely new object, again, fully editable. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.